Hello, I'm Captain Eric Thors, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I welcome you to the virtual edition of our Recruit Graduation Ceremony. Even though you can't be here in person, it is important to be able to share this experience with you, the families and friends watching online and witnessing this significant milestone. Next time you talk to your sailor, I'm sure they'll have many stories to tell you about their boot camp experience. But first, allow me the opportunity to show you our side of the story. Hurry up, let's go. Get on the bus, let's go. Recruit Training Command is the quarter deck of the United States Navy. Good order and discipline will be maintained 24-7. Proper military posture will be maintained 24-7. Every enlisted sailor begins their naval career here, and our mission is fairly simple. It's to transform civilians into smartly disciplined, physically fit sailors ready for follow-on training and service to the fleet, and while doing so, to instill in them the highest values of honor, courage, and commitment. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's gonna make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. Our training environment is controlled chaos. Are you guys not disciplined And while it may not seem like that to the recruits, each and every event has meaning and purpose. You're gonna sound off at the top of your lungs. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir! We are designed to develop skill sets that sailors can carry throughout their entire career. We push hard on physical fitness. You better get the work. Watch standing. Stop looking, man. Look! Try it. Read it and look. And creating a warrior mindset. Now with the mental scan, you're gonna be focused on your mind. A true body, mind, and soul approach. When I say gas, 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 you'll have 15, one, five seconds. To down your face, tighten your straps, check floor seal, and put your hands in your pockets. All of our recruits receive training that will help them the second they get to the fleet. firefighting, damage control, weapons and seamanship. Our recruits get hands-on training and application with them all. together as a team, execute the mission, and the next time I see you, you'll be sailors. Who y'all neighbors? Everything they learn is tested in a battle stations. Identify yourself. Chief, Division 001, man in ready for battle station, Chief. Very well. Do not relax anything, that is on you. That is a 24-hour event where the recruit ceases to exist First shot. First shot. and a sailor is forged. Navy boot camp really is a machine with a swarm of moving parts all working towards the same goal, making a sailor.
The sailors forged here are the bedrock of our naval forces. They give our Navy its combat edge, and they enable us to help keep this nation secure. Each of them you see here today has earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Please welcome Division 429, commanded by Petty Officer First Class John Jenkins, Petty Officer First Class Richard Franco, and their recruit chief, Petty Officer Stephen Carson Nugent from Carson City, Nevada. Officer Joseph Acuna, Petty Officer First Class Sean LaCurcy, and their recruit chief, Petty Officer Stephen Robert Gallagher from St. Mary's, Georgia.
Officer Timothy Fairbanks. Petty Officer First Class, Clarissa Garcia. Petty Officer Second Class, King Collins. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Apprentice, Bob Jennings. From San Diego, California.
Oscar second class, Laura Perez. And the recruit chief of the Oscar, Stephen Autumn Wyatt from Lakeland, Florida.
for attending. Congratulations, sailors. You've all made it. You're graduating from boot camp and doing so in a time of extraordinary circumstances. Today, we recognize your transformation from civilian to sailor. A sailor is a member of a profession, forged through shared adversity, confident in their abilities, and certain in their conviction that they are ready to handle any challenge. The RTC staff and your RDCs see these traits within each of you. I personally could not be more proud of how you have risen to the challenges we presented and proven that you have what it takes to be members of our Navy and profession of arms. While your time here has been different than others have experienced in the past, fundamentally, most things haven't changed. Like every sailor, you've been trained in firefighting, damage control, seamanship, small arms, and watch standing. You proved you were tough, mentally, morally, and physically. You showed you could work as a team, both relying on one another and being relied upon. You demonstrated the warrior spirit of sailors and earned the right to wear that title. The coronavirus has certainly impacted your experience, but the Navy is inherently flexible and agile and excels when faced with challenges, just like you've all done here during boot camp. But we're not just congratulating you today. We're welcoming new members of the Navy family watching from afar. While I wish you could all be here in person, I'm glad I'm at least able to virtually welcome you. The term Navy family isn't just a slogan, it's a real thing. And I'm going to let you families in on a secret. We need you to love and support us throughout our service to our nation. Thank you for your love and support of your sailor. You are truly part of our family and essential to the Navy. To the sailors graduating today, well done. We are all very proud of you. Take care of one another and stay in the fight. Let us pray. Good morning, Lord. We thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing these young sailors through the transformation of boot camp. They have learned what it is to have honor as they have been continually tested and held to the highest standards. Help them to use these lessons in the fleet. It took courage to step on the plane and leave everything they knew. Bless them with the same fortitude in the future. Help them to trust in your goodness to carry them through when the challenges of life arise. They have proven their commitment to themselves, their family, and their nation. As we continue with the ceremony, I ask that you would solidify their commitments in all things. These core values will separate them from those they walk amongst. They may look the same, Lord, but please never let them be the same. As they bear the title of United States Sailor, let them always be the best of what our country has to offer. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Throughout your time here, you've been taught toughness. You have been taught to run to the fire. You have been taught to deal with acute stress, how to process it, and still move forward. You've been taught all that stuff. You've been taught to overcome challenge, and you have overcome challenges. The fact that you're sitting here today says you've done that. Because here's what I'm going to tell you. You're going to be tested. It's coming. One of you is going to be sitting in your gym, working out, and you're gonna hear a loud crash off the back of your ship. And when you get up topside, a helicopter with 25 people has hit the back of the ship and fell in the water. And now you go to mass casualty and start rescuing people. One of you is gonna be eaten from the mess decks, and you're gonna hear the flight deck fire, drill, fire alarm go off. And you're gonna to run to the flight deck to suit up, and there's a Harrier jet with two 500 pound bombs on board, a pilot in the cockpit, and the plane's on fire. And you gotta go combat the fire. One of you is going to be sitting in combat off the coast of Africa, and you're going to hear missiles inbound. This is not a drill, and you're going to have to react. 
Everything I just said has happened to our Navy in the last four years. And sailors like you responded and took action. Your test is coming. Are you ready? Yes, yes Weak. Weak. Are you ready? Yes, yes I am proud of each and every one of you. You are absolutely the generation of sailors I want to go to war with. Be proud of what you've done. Earn it every day. I'm proud to call you shipmate. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. I look forward to seeing your graduation tomorrow. Congratulations to your parents. Hoo-yah. Hoo